This is Maddie and in today's masterclass we are going to talk about how to get rid of your double chin. Now remember whatever exercise that you have been doing so far, none of that is focused on reducing the double chin because we are now in quarantine most of the time we are lying on the bed we might have that fluffy face and to get rid of that and get rid of your double chin with a very simple exercise can give a, you look more toner and more, more toned and more younger. So these exercises are very simple and it should take five minutes of time a few hours to do this exercise you can do it as many times you want in a day from wherever you want it does not have any prerequisite that you should have eaten or you should have not eaten or whatever you can do it from anywhere as many times as you want one thing to note down is in it should take at least 15 days of time to show the difference but after 15 days you will see significant difference it ideally will show you the difference after three three days of the exercise but 15 days is a good time to look at your before after transformation so before we begin we are going to first do the warm-up for the warm-up what we will do is we will move our head clockwise and anti-clockwise 12 times after that we will just rotate our head to put this chin as closer to your right shoulder and then again as closer to your left shoulder and as parallel to the ceiling as well as tuck it with your neck let's get started one, two, and try to make as big circle as you can. Mm -hmm. Now we will go anti-clockwise after you complete 12 times. Now when you do this, one thing to remember is don't let it be open and then do this. Try to tuck it with your neck, tuck in. Let it go close and that way you'll be able to make the big cast circle. Okay. Next exercise that we are going to do is like I said earlier, you need to bring your chin closer towards your shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder to the ceiling and you will tuck in. So, one, two, three, four, five one two three four when you do this exercise try not to move your body like this only let your neck move five one try to stretch as much as you can so that your face is parallel to the ceiling two three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Next exercise that we are going to do is called OE exercise. In this exercise, you're going to try to pronounce the word O and E with maximum stretch that you can give to your neck, your lower chin, as well as your jaw. Let's get started. I O E O E O E O E O E Repeat that multiple times. Now next exercise that we are going to do is called kissing the ceiling. In this exercise we will try to put our face parallel to the uh, ceiling or sky wherever you are uh, working on. We will try to keep our face parallel and we will try to kiss the ceiling so you basically bring your jaw and your this area forward and as you are facing the ceiling this part stretching is very important this is extremely effective exercise let's get started hmm? notice this stretch and when you try to say oh kiss the ceiling Oh, or try to pronounce this word oh when you do this exercise try to push forward your chin as much as forward mm 
Oh my god, I'm already feeling that a stretch. Let's take a break of maybe 30 seconds. Three times clockwise and anti-clockwise. We'll rotate our head to release that stress from my neck. Next exercise that we are going to do, that exercise is called Kai. In that exercise, what used to happen in ancient days is those families based in farming, they would fry the corn or they would fry rice and just eat it raw in the evening, like munchers or snacks. And to chew that, you really need to press it really hard and that actually gives you a very toned jaw. We don't do that anymore, but let's just project that we are trying to choose something really hard. Only difference that we will try to do is bring your lower jaw forward. And imagine that you have something really hard here in between your tooth and you are trying to chew and break that so that your tooth touches each other. You'll feel that stretch here. I know it looks very funny, but try to repeat that with me. Okay. We are done for the with the exercise for today and once in a while, once in let's say a week time, you can also go for an oil massage for your neck. What, all you need to do is take a little portion of oil Put it around your neck and try to pull the entire fat, that fat that you see, try to put entire fat towards the top. You're trying to push it to the chin. So try to do that from all the sides, close to five to six times. Don't be too hard. Be nice and gentle to yourself. I hope you like this video and try uh, and uh, uh, do this exercise every twice a day or thrice a day as many times you want depending on your time. You will feel a lot of difference within a week time. Please like, share and subscribe with your loved one and also help them to get toned face and get rid of the double chin. Thank you.